Hi, I'm John the Engineer, Great Canadian Gambler, Taj Professor Termel, and today I'm going to be teaching you Poker Power Tool number four, uh, Danger Board Outs for one to eight opponents. Uh, but first I'm going to say that these are the greatest kind of gla sunglasses to wear at a game because you can look people in the eye, but when you're in a hand you just got to look down a little bit and you get what you want, hide your eyes, and you can still see through. So, interesting. But, here's the hand we're going to talk about today. I had a pair of 10s. First in, raise. Call, 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 call. Five calls. And then small blind folds and sixth call with a big blind. So, 14 and a half bets in the pot. Flop comes queen, eight, three. I bet. Into six opponents. Call, 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 call. Whew. Probably nobody has a queen. Next card. Deuce. I bet. Call, 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 call. One guy folds. I need to hit a deuce. Should have stayed. Big money odds. Last card. Jack. Oh no. Two over cards. I bet. Fold, 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 fold. Last guy calls. I turn up my tens. He turns up an eight. Table goes, wow. Huge 37 bet pot. And I only put in seven bets. Now why did I do that? Why did I bet into that? whole field with an underpair. You're going to find out when you learn about Poker Power Tool number four. So the first column in Poker Power Tool number one, this is for one opponent, that's the familiar outs odds array we learned in Poker Power Tool number one for calling. With two outs of danger, or two outs to hit, you need 22 to one. With four outs, it's 10 to one, six outs, seven to one, eight outs, five to one. If you don't know this, then you can't follow what we're gonna talk about. But right now, I'm gonna give another explanation of how the Poker Power Tool works. We're gonna talk about one card flushes. Let's say you ha the, the board's got ace, king, queen, jack, and you got the nine. Well, what are the chances he's got the 10? Well, he can have the 10 in that card or in that card. Two outs of danger, 22 to one. And if there's two opponents, ah, it's 10 to 1. If there's three opponents, 7 to 1. Hmm. Now, let's say you've got the 8 of hearts. So, you can be beat by the 10 or the 9. Well, now there's 2 there and 2 there. 4 outs of danger. 10 to 1. Well, let's say you have the 7. And you can be beat by the 10, the 9, and the 8. Well, that's 6 outs. Uh, 3 there and 3 there. 6 outs of danger. 7 to 1 against. So you can now compute every time you've got a one card flush with one opponent, the chances that he has you beat and very quickly. And that'll let you know whether you should bet into him or not very many times. So there's the outs odds array for one opponent. Now with two opponents, all of a sudden the odds are cut. Let's take a look for instance at six outs. Let's say an overcard flops. There are three possible overcards that hit there, and he's got three more there. That's a six out of danger. So that's approximately one eighth of the cards, 48 cards remaining, seven to one against. But with two opponents, ah, with six outs of danger, it's actually now two eighths, or one and quarter, three to one against. With four opponents, it's even money now, because four times six, that's half the deck, 24 outs of danger. So this demonstrates what I call the law of small percentages. When you're down in these small outs areas, you simply have to multiply the number of outs by the number of opponents, and that gives you about the outs of danger, which you can then use with your poker power tool number one. Let's give you another example. Notice that the number is going down 22, 10, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. Well, going across, notice it's 22, 10, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. And for four outs, it's 10, 5, 3, 2, 1 going across, and the second row down is 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. So you can see that there's a nice symmetry there, which means that as long as up to even money, all you have to do is multiply the number of outs by the number of players, and that'll tell you the, prob the chances of... Uh, the odds being there. Down to number 23 there for a moment. 23 outs of danger because that's half the deck. 46 remaining cards on the turn. Now with half the deck of danger, that means that you're even money. Now with two opponents, 
It doesn't double to 46 outs of danger and you have no chance. That can't be right. It doesn't work that way with big numbers. It's actually one half, it's one minus the chance they both miss. So if it's 50 50, one half of the time he misses, well, two of them, it's one half times a half, a quarter of the time they're going to miss and you're still good. So that means it's three to one against. Now move along to 23 outs with three opponents and now it's a half times a half times a half, which is one eighth or seven to one against. And if you move over to four opponents, it's a half to the fourth power, one sixteenth, 15 to one against. And after that, well, it gets so high, 20, more than 22 to one, that's where I count that. So when you have these large numbers, there's a big warping that happens, but only in the low areas. You'll notice, for instance, that in the um, 12 outs of danger with one opponent, it's 3 to 1 against. And let's look at 6 outs of danger with two opponents, still 3 outs against. And with 4 uh, outs of danger and 3 opponents, it's still 3 to 1 against. And finally, with 2 outs of danger and 6 opponents, it's still 3 to 1 against. So when you come up with 12, it's always 3 to 1 against. And when you come up with 15, it's always 2 to 1 against. And when you come up with the with 20s to 23, when the 20s, it's always even money. Now, when you come up into the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and even the 100s, when it gets big enough, you want to know how do you figure this out? Well, let's take a look at the first row of blue ones there, the threes. So we're looking at six outs across to eight opponents. Now that's 48 danger outs, you'd think, but it's three to one against you're being good. Now let's look at six, uh, sorry, eight outs times six opponents. It too uh, co comes up to 48 and it too is three to one against. Now let's look at uh, 10 outs times 5 opponents. Well, at 50, pretty close to 48, 3 to 1 against. And let's look at 12 outs times 4. Again, multiply it's 48, 3 to 1 against. And let's look at uh, 16 outs times 3 comes to 48. Again, 3 to 1 against. So, wow, it's almost a beautiful, simple layering of probabilities which let me work out a little system to learn it. Now we'll continue on with the fours there. If you look at 8 times uh, 8, that would come to 64, and you'll notice that's 4 to 1 against in the purple zone. And now let's look at 12 times 6, and that's 72, and that's still in the uh, orange zone, sorry, the orange zone. And then if you look at 14 times 5, that's 70, that's in the orange zone. And 16 times 4, 64, that's in the orange zone. So there happens to be a span of about 10 from 3 opponents to 8 opponents. And I said to myself, wow, if there's a span of 10 around an average, the averages have, have to be between the 5 and the 6. Now... Instead of my coming up with uh, a, a, and memorizing all these numbers, there seems to be a way that we can codify this into a very little system. So this new tool I'm going to explain in my next post. So that's poker power tool number four, the chart for explaining how the probabilities and the odds change as the number of opponents increases. Pretty complicated stuff. But I invented a simple new tool today that's going to allow you to learn that whole chart in five or ten minutes tomorrow. And as for the guy who folded the deuces, his next card, the jack, would have hit. And he would have made two pair and could have check raised me for 41 bet pot. If he'd known the Termel two-step, he'd have known that with five outs, you need to have eight to one to call. And he was getting 17 to one when he turned it down. He could have made a 100% overlay on his money and he gave it away. And that was a wonderful opportunity for me. So <laughs> when you got a pair and it's worth five outs and it's a big pot, you got to stay. Johnny Engineer Termel signing off until I teach you the new tool in the next lesson.